What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hopefully you're having an absolutely incredible day. I know I am. If you are, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. Karen is going to break into your house and speak to your manager. Yeah, that's right. You might not have a manager at your house, but Karen will find one, I can promise you. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Oh, Karen, 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 Karen. I tried to warn her, guys. Last time she did anything crazy, I kind of told her that every time she does something stupid, I'm going to make a video about it and make money off of her stupid. But uh, I guess she just didn't listen because she went to a new level today something that I never saw coming All right uh, for those of you who don't know who Karen is she's my crazy neighbor that I have a lot of beef with uh, th There's a bunch of videos on my channel about her So if you haven't seen them, I I'm sure you can go find them They're like the most popular videos on my channel But regardless me and this soccer mom have been having some beef recently because she feels like I'm a bad influence for children And uh, well wh while she's not wrong. She recently took it to a brand new level. All right It's beyond trying to get my channel deleted. It's beyond trying to take away my laptop. It's beyond everything she's ever done before. No, no, no. You see, uh, <laughs> yesterday, I caught Karen trying to break into my house. Well, she succeeded in breaking into my house, but, um, it, there, there's a story involved, so without further ado, let's get into it. So, I've had a friend that's been coming over lately, and, uh, his name's Grant. We've been making some YouTube videos together for, like, my third channel, you know? Uh, I haven't shouted it out or thing. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, that's fine. It's whatever. But regardless, he's been coming over every morning to to uh, record videos and just hang out and have a good time and stuff considering you know we, we've just been trying to ball out and he's been up to date with the whole Karen fiasco and he's been parking his car in my driveway because whenever he parks it in the street Karen calls a tow truck company and then I have to go outside and try to get it towed and uh, you know that that's just the type of person Karen is she doesn't want cars in the street because she thinks it makes her look bad like I'm sorry Karen would you like my guest to park in the bushes please tell me where else my guest would, would should park Karen regardless there's no making Karen happy so uh, he's been parking in my driveway so, I guess this morning, uh, I heard my front door open and I heard somebody downstairs. So, I go downstairs and I call out Grant's name and nobody's there, you know? Like, I don't I don't hear him. He doesn't answer. But I know somebody came in the door and uh, was, was in my house. So, I'm like, hmm, that's weird. And my dogs were barking like crazy and they usually don't bark when Grant comes in. But I was like, wow, that, that's bizarre. But like I said, I left the front door unlocked so that way uh, my, my buddy Grant could come in. So, I go outside to check to see if his car is here. Like, maybe he just went to the bathroom or something. Maybe the dogs, maybe he's wearing a weird color. I don't, I don't know. Even though dogs are colorblind, I'm, I'm kind of 400 IQ for just realizing that. But regardless, I go outside to see if Grant's car is there, and sure enough, I don't see a car. So, at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm being home invaded, alright? El Chapo himself just broke out of the Supermax prison and came to my house because his daughter's a big fan of my videos or something. I don't really know. And basically, a stranger is in my house. So, I go around my house, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I don't, I don't find anything, right? I'm like, huh. So, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm hearing things. Maybe uh, I was playing Call of Duty, and one of the bots came into my house and then got lost. I don't really know, but I go around my house and I don't see anything, so I go back upstairs, I put my headphones on, and I just keep recording uh, the, the video I was making, which was yesterday's story time, because I was like, oh, whatever, no big deal, uh, I, I guess I'm just hearing things. So, I go about my business, and then I hear the door open again, and this time my dog doesn't bark, and I hear someone come upstairs, and Grant is sitting there in an orange sweatshirt, and he goes, who's the lady downstairs? And I'm like, huh? What are you talking about? And he goes, yeah, some lady's sitting downstairs. I think it looks like Karen, but I'm not quite sure. Because Grant and Karen have never had, like, face-to-face -face interactions. Because whenever Karen does anything, like call a tow truck or complain about anything about Grant being at my house, um, she doesn't do it in person. She just, like, calls and complains and then sits in her window and watches it go down. So obviously, at this point, I'm flabbergasted. This means one of two things. Either Grant and I have just discovered that there is a ghost in my house and I need to move immediately, which would make Karen happy, or... Karen has just walked into my house and that was what I heard earlier. So I go downstairs and Karen is no joke sitting on my couch with a water bottle in my hand. I guess I had missed her because she had gone to my garage. Keep in mind, I never invited her in. Meaning that Karen, this soccer mom, this entitled butthole, broke into my house. Like, I'm sorry. At what point do you get to threaten to sue someone and then walk up to their front door, check to see if it's open. If it's open, just walk in, go to the garage and grab a water bottle, and then come back in and start chilling on the couch, right? So obviously, I'm like, hello, Karen, you need to get out. Like, I, I didn't invite you here. You didn't ask to come in. And she basically looks at me and goes, we need to have another chat. And I'm like, Karen, listen. Listen, you entitled, you entitled, oh, I want to swear so bad. Susan, I'm not going to swear because I love you and I respect your platform and I refuse, refuse refuse to say naughty words because I know that's uh, that's yellow signable, but I really want to call her a mean word, a, a female dog, okay? She was sitting next to my female dog, that's what I'm going to say. 
But whatever, you know, Karen said that we need to talk because apparently whatever she needs to tell me is so important that she can't knock on the door, you know? Like, aha, let's just walk into a stranger's house, aha, ha. Like, thanks, Karen, you're, you're an absolute unit. So obviously, I, I'm a little frustrated at this point, so I'm kind of telling Karen that she's a moron, like, I, I'm not too pleased with it, and she basically says, so I've noticed you keep posting videos about me, and I'm like, yes, Karen, and uh, this, this is definitely going to be a video, and she goes, that's fine, you can post videos about me, but you need to give me all of the money you make from each video, and I'm like, no. I'm, I'm not gonna do that and she says well I just think it's only fair that if you're going to make money off my bit off of me in my Personality then I should at least be compensated for it and uh, I tr tried to politely explain to her <clears throat> Karen listen listen very closely you stupid soccer mom, okay you just broke into my house I'm not giving you money to talk about how much of a moron you are. And her argument was that the door was open so it doesn't count as breaking in, which, like, might work if you're a four-year-old, you know? But when you're, uh, I don't know, 34, or I don't even know how old Karen is, 40, who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're over the age of seven, you should know that just walking into somebody's house, whether or not the door is unlocked, isn't okay. Like, Karen, wh where were you raised? Were you raised in Doristan, where, it, oh, the door's unlocked, we're totally cool it's a cultural thing because I promise you not many people are actually chill with you just breaking into their house for shits and giggles like ah, ha, ha. oh yeah me oh yeah th this old thing oh yeah sorry haha ha. just wanted to come inside and see your puppies like that's not cool I don't care but beyond that you know Karen Karen obviously wanted the cha-ching I've been making off these Karen videos and uh, I don't blame her because um they're getting a lot of views people love it because Karen's a moron so I basically politely tell her, no, I'm not going to give her any of the money for my videos. And she says, well, my husband thinks it would be fair. Like, yes, Karen, your husband, the person who has no relation to me at all. He's not my dad. He's not my uncle, not my grandpa. The only reason I know who your husband is is because he's married to your crazy, crazy self. And uh, no, yo, what, what your husband thinks is fair doesn't matter to me. I do not care what your husband has to say literally at all. You know, your husband could say I should run for president. It doesn't mean anything to me. And this obviously upsets her. And her next argument is this <laughs> I, I don't understand Karen who's still sitting in my living room with my water bottle by the way well my husband went to college and you didn't so therefore I think he has a better understanding over what's right and wrong cool lady I don't care that your husband went to college I literally do not care I'm not giving you the money that the videos are making please get out of my house I don't know you you don't know me like this get out you broke into my house you insane soccer mom this is not cool get out leave and she's arguing with me. Well, I just think it's very unfair that you won't even give it, give an inkling of thought to my proposal. No, Karen, I'm not going to give an inkling of thought to my proposal from the person who just broke into my house and took my water bottle. And that's the worst of all. She took a water bottle, guys, for just pennies a day across the nation. Karen's could use a reusable water bottle, but no, she had to break into her 20-year-old neighbor's house and just take one instead. So at this point, I I'm getting frustrated, and Grant can see that, so he says, you know, you go upstairs, because I probably was about to give Karen the old backhand, uh, and, and he gets Karen out of the house, we lock the door, he comes upstairs and goes, all right, so I definitely thought you were exaggerating the Karen stories a little bit, but after seeing that, uh, I, I, I believe you, you know, <laughs> she's, she's insane, but it doesn't end there guys. No, 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 no. Karen being crazy can't just end with her breaking into my house because that would be too calm for Karen. Five minutes later, I hear a knock on the door and I'm like, I'll be right back. So I open the door and I scream what? Like before I even open the door. And if it's the UPS person, then I'll explain why I'm being rude. But I'm, I'm preemptively getting ready for a Karen in my face complaining about something that I have no control over or something that I don't want to do. It's just expected at this point. It's, it's normal Karen, Karen behavior. Oh, I just dropped my mouse. So I open the door and her husband is standing there and he says, Hey man, look, I know you're not going to give her the money, but can you at least do something so she feels like she has a little bit of a victory? She won't stop talking about it. She's going crazy. She's watching the videos on repeat. Please, for the love of all that is holy, please give her something so she'll calm down. And you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe if your husband would have come over like a week ago before you broke into my house or before you threatened to sue me, maybe I would have given you a $20 bill and been like, oh, that's all the ad revenue and you could have felt like you won and we could have gone our separate ways. But now at this point, I'm not going to be nice to Karen. I understand, man, that your life's got to suck because your wife is coming over and complaining about me all the time, but uh, I'm not giving your wife the dub because your wife is going to take every L in the book that I want to hand to her. And if she wants to come over and make herself a fool again tomorrow, I will once again 
and make a video on it. Like, I I'm sorry. I've tried to be neighborly. I've tried to be nice. We're past that now. At this point, everything that happens from here on out is your wife taking an L, and I'm not going to apologize because, to be honest, I don't feel bad. And no, I'm not going to give your wife any money. So... He kind of is like, okay, okay, fair enough. You know, I don't want any problems. I'm like, dude, I get it. Your wife is insane. She just broke into my house. And he goes, what do you mean? She said that you invited her over. So I tell her husband the story of how she like just walked into my house. And I basically say, you know, I, I want to call the police. I'm not going to because I don't want your wife to go to prison. You know, very clearly there's something unhinged. But your wife can't just walk into my house, bro. Like, that's that's really not cool, you know? Like, breaking into people's houses is not is not very neighborly. And he's like, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. Um, she, she's been, like, off her medication recently. I'm like, dude, I don't care if she's off her medication. Get her back on it because this is getting out of control. And the next time she does anything crazy, I'm calling the cops. And the husband's like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Have a good day. I'm so sorry. And he's just really apologetic. Like, I feel bad for the poor guy. He obviously loves his wife. But, uh, you know, maybe if your wife's breaking into your neighbor's house, it might be time to get a new one. Just just a thought out there. I know you're watching this, Karen. <laughs> Suck it. I don't really care. Uh, you can be mad all you want. Whatever. Realistically, guys, I don't know what to do at this point. Like, I I've tried everything in the book. I've tried to be nice. I've tried to be mean. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let her be crazy. And if she keeps being crazy, I'll keep making videos and getting more subscribers. Real simple policy. Uh, Karen, you hear that? Every time you do something dumb, I win. But on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought, if you enjoyed, if you didn't. Those are stuff that I really, really love to hear. But, uh, yeah, have an absolutely incredible day. Don't get anyone pregnant. And if you do, make sure they're hot. Today's notification shout-out goes to the one, the only, the indescribable... Nico Burke. Nico Burke, thank you, my friend. If you want a notification shout out, turn on notifications, send a screenshot to me on Instagram at Scrubby, and I shout somebody out every day, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.